Welcome to another episode of Adam's Fly Box, Eastern Outdoors Adventures. Today we will be cooking the Rambo trout we caught last week for uh, an outdoor cook and doing this over my fire pit, which I just seasoned today. We're also going to be doing some parsley, provolone, garlic, and fennel venison sausages since I got the fire pit going, and also going to be cooking up some pheasant breasts from last uh, winter that my dogs got. We're doing this rubbed lightly with olive oil and Kinder's Rub Buttery Steakhouse. And I'm doing these two in Hunt and Chef Eat What You Kill. The trout I did this one with Black and Red Fish Magic. This trout I just simply did a little bit of fresh crushed rosemary, olive oil, salt, and then diced onions and crushed garlic. So I'm gonna get these guys on the grill and going. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Just so you can see what we're cooking with today. So as I mentioned earlier, I seasoned my fire pit today and cleaned it all up. Got some good coals going using um, some oak and uh, choke cherry. Give it a little bit of extra smoky flavor and burning some rosemary um, from last year in the mix. Gives it an extra little bit of that smoky rosemary flavor. And we will get this bad boy flipping. Uh, one thing about wild game is you don't want to overcook it. The sausages, yeah, they have pork mixed in, which keeps them moist. However, pheasant um, and venison by itself, they they don't have uh, very much fat, or they have tallow, but you generally cut it off because uh, the flavor is not all that great. So the olive oil will cook it uh, pretty quick, and you don't want to cook it well. It needs to be cooked medium rare. Uh, trout will flip around um, those guys this once the eyes turn white and the skin peels they'll be done so just watch along and we will get this uh, get this meal going I'm gonna drop the grate over the pick holes to get it going faster and just got to make sure that uh, it doesn't burn Smoky.
what I like to do is once I have my coals going pull the coals not too much flame because you don't want a lot of flare up get the coals right underneath and I will keep on the other side of the fire I will keep uh, some wood burning just a little bit so I can pull more coals in uh, as necessary can already start to smell the uh, garlic and the oil and the butter and a little bit of the seasonings on uh, pheasant uh, pheasant breast starting to smell extremely good rosemary that I grew. Crush it up a little bit over the top of this trout. Pulled some more coals underneath the fish to give them a, a little more heat on uh, on that side. The pheasant will be done literally in uh, a couple minutes, as well as the sausage. The fish is cooking a little bit slower, but like I mentioned, once the eyes turn white and the skin flakes off, then you're done. And uh, with the rainbow trout, it's a very delicate, mild meat. So whatever ingredients you add with it, uh, it will really take on that flavor. And if you're cooking small panfish-sized trout. Yeah, there are some pin bones, but you can usually sear them out. And then once you clean the fish, you can pick them out if they bother you. But the smaller fish, you can eat them with no problems.
slide the pheasant over a little bit off the heat because they will be done in about a minute. close. Check this one.
And although it's a little bit pink, this is the pheasant I just cut in half. It'll, it's this is done. It'll remain pink uh, unless you overcook it. And this is ready to pull off and let it sit. Pull a little bit more coals underneath the trout. And I'm going to drop it down. Sausages are done to my liking. dog wants to chase a squirrel or something. Okay, the skin is peeling back very nicely. So these fish are pretty close to being done. What I'm going to do is peel the skin back a little bit. Flip it over, let it get the flavor into the meat. Some people like to eat the skin crunchy. Um, not really my thing.
you can see, the uh, fish is definitely done. The eyes are white. Don't want to overcook it. It's uh, really nice and tender. It's going to have some good flavor with the olive oil and the blackened seasoning on the one side and the rosemary and the olive oil and the garlic all on the other. With the diced onions, I threw a couple carrots in just for fun. And uh, this is going to be an outstanding dinner. Thank you very much for watching Adam's Fly Box. And please like and subscribe and follow, uh, follow us and we'll bring more outdoor adventures and outdoor videos and cooking to the channel. Somebody is getting a little impatient because she knows there's food on the grill. Pull these guys off now. There you have it. We have pheasant and venison sausages and trout. It is the Sportsman's Outdoor Surf and Turf. Again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Adam's Fly Box, and we'll be bringing you more videos in the future.